Well, the Annunciation is, is a painting that usually strikes a lot of people because it's so unusual. So you have this young Palestinian girl who looks honestly afraid, <laughs> and she's looking at what, from the tradition, you understand to be an angel because there are so many Annunciation scenes people would have seen, you know, you always see the Virgin and the angel. It's always the same distribution, but... Here, you have, instead of the angel, just a shaft of light. And I relate it to something Tanner might have seen. And what is interesting is it, it has nothing to do with religion. It's technology. So the first time I saw it, I thought, oh, it's really strange. It really looks like a neon light. And I did some research, and I found out that the first neon-like lights were actually invented at the time really early on in the 1890s, by a man named Nikola Tesla, who was working in the United States. For instance, he had an exhibit at World's Fair in 1893, where Tanner went. And it was a very, he, he had a, really a taste for the spectacular. Uh, he had this setup in the World's Fair, so you would enter the electricity building, and there was a Westinghouse exhibit Tesla was working for Westinghouse. He would enter this room that was entirely covered with black drapes, completely obscure, and visitors were led inside this room, and there was a table in the middle with light bulbs of different shapes, including long tubes, like the one, like the same shape you see in the painting, and those bulbs would be lit up wirelessly through the action of high-frequency electricity. So that was really something exceptional for people to see. So to me, it's really interesting because Tanner blends technology within... He, he manages to weave it back into something extremely traditional and ancient, which is the scene of the Annunciation. There's this, and that's where he really negotiates very well between the hyper-modern technology and the, the tradition of painting first and then the tradition of the Bible, um, he manages to do that very well.